Hello everyone, welcome to CodesInTheNet.com. So this video we are going to learn how to implement a Google login for your Flutter project. So this is the output which we are going to create now. So when the user tap on the login button, we are going to authenticate the user with the Google and if the authentication is successful, so we are changing the UI. So in the next UI, we are going to display the user name and the profile picture is coming from Google and we are, going, we are also going to enable the love code button. So this is the output which we are going to create right now. Uh, let's see into the session. Google login. First, we have to create a new project. So let's create it. Once the project is created, we have to change the working directory and open the project with my code editor. Now the project has been opened. So I'm going to modify a few codes here. So what I did here, I imported a material and we created a stateful widget. So this stateful widget is going to return a scaffold. It's nothing but a container. And I linked the home page as a inside the main dot dot. So let's run this application and see how it's going to look. So here you can see it just has a scaffold with a title. To work with a Google login, so first we have to go to console.firebase and google.com. So here you have to create a new project and you have to select your project name. And click continue. And click continue. You can select the analytics account and create a new project. So once the project is created, click Android. So here you have to fill the required details. So we need to pass the SS key. So I can give, you can click this link and you can learn how to generate. If you are on a Mac, you have to execute. If you are on a Windows, you have to execute this one. So I'm in the Mac, so I'm just copying this, running this. So the default password is Android. And now we have the SSK key. So I need to copy this and paste here and click register app. So then you have to download the Google service file and you need to paste inside the app folder. So I'm going to download this and paste inside the app folder. You go to Android, inside the app folder, we have to paste it. Now we place the Google service inside the app folder. So then click next. Inside the builder.gradle, so you have to add a class port. So it should be inside the project level. So Android, builder.gradle. So Android inside the builder.gradle, so we have to add the dependency. So then we have to add these lines inside the app level. App folder, builder.gradle, so apply blacking. So here we have to add, and then inside the dependency, we need to add this and click next and click go to console. Now we have completed the setup, so then we have to add a blacking. So for a Google sign in, we are going to use this one. So let's copy this and uh, you need to go to the bub spec. So under the dependency, you can add it. So let's save this file. Now it will automatically download the dependency. Once the dependency is downloaded, so I'm going to modify few code. I'm going inside the library file and home.dot. So here I'm going to add few lines of code. What we did here, so I imported a Google sign in and I have created a two variable. So first variable is a Boolean one. So here we are going to check though, whether the user is logged in or not. So if the user is logged in, so we are going to display the column. This column is going to contain a network image of the profile picture and the name of the user and the email address. Also, we have a button for a logout. So if the user logged in, if the user is not logged in, so we are uh, showing some login button in the center. So next we have a user object to store the user detail. So let's write few more lines of code and I will explain it. So what we did here, I changed the user object into the Google sign in account because it's going to be a Google sign in account object. So then we created a Google sign in object from the Google sign in class. So using this class, so we have, we created a sign in sign in function. So if the sign in is success, 
So we are changing this login as a true and user object as a user data, which is coming from here. So once it is done, so we are, we are changing this value, user object to the photo URL and display name and the email address. So let's write the code for sign out. So using the sign in, using this Google sign in object, so we call the sign out. So if the logout is successful, we are setting the, we are setting the login status as false. So let's see how it is going to work. So here you can see an output. So when I tap on the login, so you can select an account. So now you can see the profile picture, name and the email address. So when I log out, it's going to log out. I hope you enjoy this Google login with Flutter. And if you are facing any issue, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon uh, to get the instant notification whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you on next video. Bye-bye.